Well, the European Union has said that it will propose a price cap in a bid to punish Russia for its war in Ukraine. And for more details on this, let's get to Liz. That's right, Don. Well, the European Union is proposing a price cap on Russian gas in a bid to help the bloc cope with the ongoing energy crisis. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen says that the move is necessary to weaken Russia's economy further as it continues its invasion of Ukraine. The objective is here very clear. We all know that our sanctions are deeply grinding into the Russian economy with a heavy negative impact. But Putin is partially buffering through fossil fuel revenues. So here the objective is we must cut Russia's revenues, which Putin uses to finance his atrocious war in Ukraine. She also commended the EU's success in phasing out Russian energy, noting that imports from Russia have been slashed to 9% from 40%. The move comes even after Russian President Vladimir Putin's warning earlier today that Moscow will stop supplying oil and gas if price caps are imposed. Some EU countries have also voiced concerns that the price caps could hurt energy supplies further as winter approaches. Well, energy prices have soared in recent months due to supply constraints and they're in choppy trade today, swinging between gains and losses. Brent currently at $92, moving lower WTI at about $86.75 a barrel. And for more on this, Rosie Butcher joins us live from Brussels. Now, Rosie, uh, the EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen unveiled a number of measures to tackle the energy crisis. How significant are the moves? Well, the EU is absolutely embroiled in a crisis as we speak with these skyrocketing energy bills and a lot of households and businesses really feeling the pinch. That's why officials in this building behind me, the European Commission, have been busy drafting to try and come up with some solutions. Now we know what the details of these, some of the details of this plan. And I was there as European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen laid out this plan of action. It includes a levy on some of the excess profits of energy companies. So those companies which are making huge profits by selling energy at a price which is much higher than the cost of production. So the Commission is proposing that governments of the European Union countries collect some of those excess profits and funnel them into supporting the most vulnerable households and businesses. There's also a plan to impose mandatory uh, electricity use reduction targets at certain peak hours. Now there is precious little detail so far of how that should be rolled out. But one thing we do know is that European Union member states, which still need to give their formal backing to this plan, are often quite sceptical about that word mandatory. They don't often like rules imposed by Brussels down to European Union member states. But most controversially of all, of course, there's this plan to impose a cap on the price at which Russian gas can be imported into the European Union. That's something which will have to be debated by European Union member states. Ministers from the 27 countries are set to meet in Brussels this Friday. It will undoubtedly be a very heated debate as they seek to either approve these measures or perhaps wash them down before they come into force. And of course, with Russian President Vladimir Putin already voicing some very harsh criticism of the plan. Yeah, indeed, Rosie, President Putin has already threatened to stop supplying energy if those Western price caps are imposed. You know, you, the EU is feeling the pinch here with energy. Is it losing the energy war or is the bloc prepared for anything that Putin has to throw at it? Well, it's certainly more prepared than it was a few months ago. So Ursula von der Leyen, the Commission president, noted that at the start of the invasion of Ukraine, the EU relied on Russia for about 40 percent of its natural gas imports. That's now down to 9 percent. That's because the, the Brussels has been going out into the world, signing new supply deals. So replacing those Russian fossil fuels with supplies, for example, from the United States, but also from Norway, from Azerbaijan. However, there is still 9 percent of uh, the imports which are still from Russia. And there wasn't really a clear answer to how those 9% would be replaced if Russia were to simply shut off the gas taps overnight, which of, of course is what President Vladimir Putin is threatening. So the European Union, while it's further ahead, it still is very much facing a crisis. It needs to try and plug that gap. It's a big gap to plug. There are plans also to ramp up investments in renewables to try and have more homegrown energy. But in, ultimately what it boils down to is that member states are having to really impose 
trying to impose uh, measures to try and reduce demand, so dimming lights in public buildings or lowering the, capping the temperatures at which air conditioning or heating can be used. This, these are all measures to try and keep the lights on here in Europe when the winter comes, and the winter, of course, is now fast approaching. Yeah, ultimately, all those numbers just have to line up. Rosie, thank you very much for that. Rosie Birchard there reporting live from Brussels.